turn on the recording first. Let's talk about OPGG and uh, you know how long you've been playing and champion point, all that good jazz, all that good stuff. Uh, I started in season four. I started in silver four, and then didn't play. I had like two hundred and thirty ping, so I kind of didn't play. Jesus ranked Christ! Back when the servers were in California, and. Uh, and then they moved to Illinois, which is only a state away. So I got like my ping down to 130. So I started playing a little more. <laughs> and then I got the gold five with Lee Sin because I was at least in one trick with like 200 ping. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And, uh, and then I went on vacation. I came back and I had like 60 ping. So I went from gold five to diamond five in a month. With Jesus, ADC. what the hell? And then it's I actually insane. Then I stopped playing. <laughs> oh, I stopped playing ranked. Like I would just get the diamond five and then be done because. I was in school and uh, uh, okay, okay. Gotcha. I was just like not that, I guess, motivated. Fair, but fair. Now, now I'm like, that's like my only goal right now is to get a lot better than Diamond. Okay, cool. Um, then I guess let's uh, talk about like strengths and weaknesses as we watch this, this replay. All right, the first, the first one is a hard win. There's no sound. I kind of messed that's, up. Oh, no. No sound is fine. Like, I, I mute that anyway, okay. so... Okay, that's great. Uh, and then the second VOD is me losing terribly, so... Or, okay. I mean, or, well, going even, but then not caring because I don't know how to play from behind. So, I noticed you said um, you had problems, like, farming or CSing or something, right? Is there anything else you want to look at specifically as well? Um... Uh, I guess like wave management. I mean, I know how to slow push and I know how to like freeze and everything, but I don't know when kind of like. Ah, the best. okay, okay. Like well, I mean, when like, to like, do it, right? Like, because like, when they recon, like, and it's not in a position where it'll slow push to me, I kind of like, well, I, I got to hard shove it, but then I always hard shove it with the with their minion wave, like right there at the end of the tower. So then it just gets slow pushed into their tower and they get all their wave. And I'm just like, right, right, well, right. Well, I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll see it for sure. So, let's uh let's take a look. Well, actually, here uh you you can see my screen on Discord, right? Uh yeah, that's what I'm watching right now. So why am I pausing here? I'm gonna pause at moments at talking points. Uh, I'm not sure. Is there anything? Uh, where are you guys going after you leash? Like base first into the tri bush all right so what's going on what's going on here uh it could be someone so i always like cue it just to make sure there's no one there all right what would you have done if velka shot a cue at you right now i would uh cry while walking the lane all right you guys lost you guys lost I lane before lost, it started like... essentially yeah so <laughs> this is this is one of those talking points where you never do this like there's against, almost there's almost against, never a reason. Like don't ever do that no matter what the matchup or only against a matchup that could hard poke you. All right, like, so if there are um if your level one is so much better than theirs and you can win if they're in this bush, go for it. But oh, here's so the problem. Okay. If yeah. you're Lucian Braum, you can do this. But the problem is that if they just hit and run, you're still losing, right? Yeah. <laughs> like if they're if they're not stupid and they just like leave, so they're like sitting never, here. Never go in the exactly, or exactly. Or, or yeah, or you wear this and you trick them and then you all in or something like that. I don't know, but you can't go in without like with a losing plan. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, okay. this is always losing. Like what we mean by always losing is if Velka stands here, he shoots you and hits you and leaves. Yeah, you I mean, always lose. No retaliation. You're gonna lose no matter what. Exactly, exactly. So you four force either an early health pot, which is terrible, or like. Right, you lose control of the lane, something happens. You can sometimes, I've even seen people yeah, try and fight there and they lose especially minions. Especially if you're against like higher, like a lot higher ELO to where like after they do that, they would just zone you super hard. Exactly. I mean, like this is literally the first thing I do is check to see if, check to see if people face check, right? If I don't have to leash, I just sit there and then free punish. So um, you never want to fall for that. It might not be, um, it, it, it may seem like, kind of strange because we're talking about a very specific thing even though it is more relevant because it happens every game but it's more of the yeah. idea that if they have a play that's like super obvious you should always expect it or right? you should always kind of try and figure out what they're trying to do and this is the, the classic it doesn't matter what level or what time it's the game is that anyone could be camping here right yeah. or camping here or ganking you when you're trying to push out a side lane it's the same concept right what will you do if they are there and if you have nothing there if you have nothing planned then it's doomed right so yeah. 
that's the first thing I noticed is uh, you must be Omega paranoid when it comes to stuff like this because if you want to get to like past diamond three you know this is this is something that's gonna happen every game <laughs> okay we can actually talk about this this is also relevant I'm terrible in Velkaz lanes. I actually just always get hit by their Qs constantly. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, I always try to outrun it, but then like you never outrun it, so. Yeah, Velkaz is kind of special because his Q is like, and, like <laughs> kind of strange, he can, right? You can like Q into the minion, but like the side Qs still come out of the minion, so that's really right, 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 right. But um, besides besides poking stuff, let's let's talk about this because this is also um super general and it shouldn't. It's not really Velkaz related. What's going on? Uh, what's going on here? What do you think? Oh, terrible trading. Um, let's talk about like, uh, what should you be doing in this picture? It's related to the these five seconds here. Um, well, probably like warding. Mm, okay, let's see. How did this Kaisa hit you? Uh, because I walked near a wall and kind of made it really easy to hit me um yeah, what probably, else yeah. do you have uh, any reason yeah. to be standing here uh no not really why is that because they just got done like pretty much destroying all my minions so i'm gonna be getting hit by their skill shots so i probably should have stayed more back exactly exactly so this is this is this is a common lane pattern where they have minions and you don't the, so the only reason you're grass. here yeah, yeah. The only reason you're here is you're baiting for your jungle, or you're gonna all in them. Like you have Lucian Braum or something. I don't know. You can't all in as Ezreal though, so it's not possible. Yeah, yeah it's so that's poke until kill. Exactly. That's how we know this this can't work. Is that maybe you're playing Lucian Thresh? You could go for this, but um, you're never gonna win this. Is the idea, right? So I think so far there's you know we've only seen two kind of situations, but uh, both of them have been situations where you're you put yourself in a spot where you cannot win. It's not yeah, that. I, it's I not that. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, hold up. They're fucking dead. Ha! <laughs> Yo, show me the hook. Oh wait, that was sick. Oh, wait, she's dead. As, she's dead too. This thresh was uh, disgusting. Flash play. That was really good. Um. Okay. Hold up. That's probably on one of my biggest things too. Is like unless I'm playing like Draven or Lucian, a lot of or not even Lucian because I kind of suck with him too. Even though my win rate's high. Mhm. Mm like unless I'm playing Draven, I'd say. Uh, or Caitlyn, yeah, I, I dominated Caitlyn too. Uh, I kind of just lose lane if my support's not better than theirs. Right, and it seems probably because of these situations that you put yourself in, right? The yeah, the two the first two things bad. happened in two minutes, right? Where it was yeah. like, I, oh. I backed right here thinking it was a pretty good back because it was like slow pushing, I guess, into my... Like, right, I, I, right. I, didn't, I don't think I had enough time to shove the wave back this is, uh This is a good example. We can talk about this. So um, in cases like this, you can base if you know that it's pushing into you, right? You can say something like, oh, the candid health tells us that, you know, yeah, it's yeah, pushing yeah. into us. But for me personally, what do you what do you think I would have done here? Kill the cannon and then base. Mm, well, if you kill the cannon, it's going to slow push towards them, right? Or like wait for their cannon to die and then kill the cannon. Okay, and then what happens to the next wave? What do you think? It just gets put under my tower probably. I don't know. Okay, so here's here's a really common pattern you'll see is that if you can't kill this wave immediately, right? You can't get it under tower, right? You can't push this under tower, right? What you will do is you can slow push this and then the next wave, and then if they try and fight you under this wave, you can run, or you can base, or you can just kill other minions and leave, right? Is oh, wait, is wait, wait. is so an like, idea? So you're saying like you start slow pushing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kill everything and then, here. And then so like you kill everything here. By, by the time they get back in the lane, you already have a big wave. So if they exactly. Try to a wave, you have a minion advantage. Exactly, exactly. That's the whole idea. And then okay. sometimes it's not safe to if they challenge you on it. Sometimes you just have the base. That's fine, right? But um, that's one strategy you can employ. Is uh, the whole goal is get it under tower so you can base. So you can slow push it, build up a wave to get under tower, or you can hard push it, which is the common strat, right? Because most of the time you will be able to hard push it, but in these cases yeah. you can't. Right, early in lane, I, yeah. it's usually I, I a slow push. Thought, I just thought right here, like, since Velkaz was already there, like, mm -hmm. I couldn't have. No, it's, uh, yeah. that's, that this fine. is totally fine, though, because this ended up slow pushing back towards you. But yeah. in case, in the cases where you don't know, that would be my first instinct, is to build a slow push and then base. 
And then, okay, kill all these minions. Oh, hold up. Eh, we won't worry too much about the poke. So you mentioned that um, you have a problem with, like, Vel'Koz, right? Is it is that, like, poke in general, or is it just Vel'Koz? Um, it's Vel'Koz and Zyra. I, I perma-ban Zyra, so I never have an issue with her anymore. But, uh... But, like, Vel'Koz, yeah. It, it kind of just, like... I don't know how that... Do you see me. this? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. minions right here. Yeah, Vel'Koz is a very... <laughs> Stupid that's champion. interesting. That's interesting, right there. Um, okay, unlucky, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you um, saw me ping that too. I was like, what? Yeah, that was really strange. Uh oh. Okay, okay. You might have, you might have wanted like a pot or something. I don't know. It's looking kind of uh, monkey ass. I, I was but, just um, greeting for uh, klepto procs. Yeah, for for these champs, it's really um, for any kind of skill shot related champions. It's always like. Uh, you kind of had to predict what they're gonna do before they throw out their skill shot. Wait, you almost. <laughs> it's alright. All right, you, all right, you know what? It's stuff. okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're just gonna go past this. Um, okay, push this out. Make sure you don't die to the jungle. Very nice. Fast forward. We're gonna say you play that fine. Um, it was just. I wouldn't worry about that too much. You just got poked too much before. If any, if there's anything wrong with that sequence of events, it was. Uh, you took too much damage beforehand, right? My problem is like I'm really, I I really hate playing like a pussy, so I actually just like get like impatient or something, and you try yeah, to make yeah. something happen. Yeah, yeah, I was very much the same way, and uh, I couldn't get past Cause like because like, cause, like the... I I always like I'm always confident in my ability to like dodge skill shots when needed in like a fight or whatever, but it's all looking pretty good, sure. So far, so good. <laughs> Wait, any questions from what we're seeing so far or anything we've talked about so far? Um, well, right right now, no. Because I, like, I kind of know to, like, if I have an advantage like this, and I'm able to, like, well, I don't remember what happens after that. This is a good talking point. Yeah, I don't know, like... How I'm supposed to help that boy? I probably He's should. He's doomed. Have healed. Yeah. How do you know? What point is he doomed? As soon as he gets stunned. Um. That's not true. I think. It's not as soon as the Velkos e ease him. No. What's, keep keep like... watching. Keep watching. All right. Let's let's watch this. If Thresh hooks Velkos here, who wins? Thresh. Right. So why didn't he hook? He didn't have it. Exactly. So what point did you lose here? Uh, as soon as he hooked the minion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, this is one of those um, indicators that tell you whether or not you want to fight this out, right? So when you see something like this, if uh, he doesn't stop that ulti, it's doomed. So thought, you kind of don't want to... I thought maybe the flash would have been enough. But... Yeah, yeah, you kind of want to get out here. Because now it's going to get Monkey S real quick, right? For example, you're going to end up dying here, right? Yeah. So this is the this is kind of... You know, don't help doomed fights. Yeah, how do we know before it happens, right? How do we know before yeah. it happens? Um, that was just zero. You guys just auto lost there, so you need to leave instead of trying to help, right? So instead of uh, what, what do we mean by trying to help? You turned around here. Yeah, no, I should just be like, see, ya, dude, you right. messed up. I mean, if you wanted to stay around to help to see if you could flay the Volcals load or something, or maybe you want to be around to try and help this fight, you stay at max range to Q, right? But we don't. You don't want to walk any closer than you have to. Right. Yeah. So here is fine. I mean, you just shoot, shoot Qs from here. But when you turned around here, that was the uh, that was the doomed part, right? It's just every time you took a step towards them is is kind of the uh, yeah, uh, my, uh, a, a habit. My, my positioning and laning is and definitely needs work. Right. It's very much you know be more. Um, I guess. Aware. Oh rip. Um. Yeah. I, I guess. I guess I think you're I think you're aware of like what they're gonna try and do, but uh, maybe have a more higher threshold of safety. I, uh, I also like disrespect them super hard. Oh, what oh, the yeah. hell? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> yo, what the heck? Uh, excuse me. Hi, Hold, up. <laughs> Hold up, is this even in range? Tell me right now. Uh, I think it's like at the very tip, dude. It's not in range. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's just monkey, okay? Yeah, I'm diamond. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, okay. This I think is a bigger problem here. It's 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 less about that you went for that and more about what you're doing here. All right, why why is that? Uh, what is this here? So we kill this cannon, and then we go ward. Okay, sure, fine. And then what do you do? 
uh, I mean, I kind of wanted to get rid of their plant, but then I realized they I already got rid of it. So then I was like, I'm going to go try to make a Korean play. And then I uh, monkey super hard because I didn't realize the wave was coming under the tier. Right. Power. So you can't do this when... Oh, or um, let's back it up a little. Let's actually back it up a little. What's going on with your minion wave here? It's a... Uh, Getting slow pushed back to me, probably. Um, Wait. Okay, in this picture... Because, like, everything's cleared, so... Isn't it just going to meet up back in the middle? Yeah, see, it's not cleared. In in the sense that the current minion wave that you need to kill is not cleared. Yeah. Alright, why, why... I mean, where is the current minion wave? Uh, under... Or in the middle between tier 1 and tier 2. Right, it's like right here. It's literally, it's literally right here, right? So this yeah. is the this is the opposite timing of what you want when you want to go ward. Is uh -oh. you wanna you wanna kill the wave first and then ward, right? I mean, sometimes you can go ward first, but it's easy punished. It's easily punished, right? This is that's why the rule is usually kill everything and then go. Is because if you don't kill everything and then go, they're gonna kill everything and you can't get back to your tower. Yeah. So. Right. That's the that's that's kind of the 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 idea that's going on here is um, you want to watch where your uh, wave is when you get past like level six when you're getting into the mid game slash end of laning because right? even if this works <laughs> you're, you're you're losing out on two waves right yeah. so it's like not even worth even if you kill this guy so that's kind of what happens when I get cocky when I get like fed I'm just like yeah oh god. I, and then I monkey flush <laughs> oh god right yeah, so if you had a lead it's uh. It's gone. It's dying. So, <laughs> so I think it's very much and not not really a problem of any kind of mechanical issue. It's all you're in a spot so bad you can't win no matter what you do. All right, <laughs> that's that's the idea we're gonna be looking at. I think. Um, oh my, that hook though. Wait, easy clap. Oh my god, that Velkazi. Wait a minute, who's winning this? What? Let me watch this Velkaz damage on this Graves real quick. Jesus, killed him in the face for five stacks. Oh, that hook, dude! This guy's on fire. Uh, okay, I think that's fine. Totally fine. We can talk about mechanics and stuff, but um, I don't think you really you really need to focus on that. It's just if there's a follow up here, what do you think it, the ideal follow up here is? Um, probably. I mean, I could either e into the like tri bush area, or I could just not e in general. And like, uh, I mean, I don't know. They're, I mean, I kind of just eat in because I wanted to guarantee Q Kleptomancy, and I knew their mid laner and jungler weren't there. So, right, right. But uh, uh, what can you fit in before your E? Uh, W. Right. So if you wanted yeah, some kind of yeah, yeah, I don't guarantee guarantee the W or yeah, E right. damage. Instead right. Exactly. Exactly. Right there. I think that's a that's just a, like a Ezreal mechanic thing. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. We because like even if you don't do that, like at this level, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna kill him anyways, right? So yeah. if it, if it, we do see more of it, if it becomes like a a constant problem, then we'll probably talk about it more. But I just wanted to point it out just in case it does happen um, in the future, right? Oh, so close. Nice shot. You got minion blocked. And it's totally fine. And Let's watch this again. I'm surprised. I thought I thought I thought I would get in range with a, another auto, so that's why I kind of like walked and monkeyed into and got hit by yeah. another tower shot. I think but. it's fine. Um, I wouldn't worry about this. You can also talk about mechanics here, but it doesn't really matter, right? Um, something like you should save your W until you can like land your E or something like that. Whatever, it's okay, right? Like you could say something like don't use your W oh. until she goes back here and then W E, right? But oh, okay, yeah. I, don't don't worry about this. This is not important. This is literally not important for now. Okay, we care about the other stuff more. Like you roaming when the wave is here. <laughs> uh, okay, hold yeah, on. My decision making is actually terrible. So it's like wow. I mean, I could. Uh... My problem is also flashed. is that I I always think like I always think everyone's tr like really bad mechanically, so I like I always try to outplay them, and then when they destroy me, I'm just like, oh, I just threw my lead. Right, right. That's actually literally what I used to do all the time. So this is how you fix it. You work on only decision making stuff, right? That's what I did to yeah. um, get a lot better really oh, quick. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, pause it. What's up? I I guess my uh, I guess just talking doesn't keep my monitor up. Oh, okay. I just okay. went to sleep. So. That's funny. It's actually taking forever to come back up. Dude, okay. 
I'm back. I'll just casually move my mouse then. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Sure, we're, uh, if you want to stay, that's kind of Mocha S. But, uh, you know, if you can hit this Kaisa, it's probably, it's probably fine. Fast forward, sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, sure, let's fast forward. All right, good stuff, good stuff. See all the mechanical fights? You kind of come out on top, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a monkey fight mid, but you maybe you can save it. Nope, okay. Fast forward. How are you taking damage? Ah, okay. You try to hit him, he hit you instead. Feels bad. All right. Sure, sure, sure. Fast. Oh, okay. Looks like this is a interesting point. Okay. Looks like they're uh, they're trying to dive. We know that diving is losing. So, good job. Fast forward. Oh, wait. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I was just waiting for it to get right at the end, so you wouldn't expect that. Hey, Lamau. Very nice timing. I do think if you want to work on Ezreal mechanics, like Ezreal habits, don't proc your W with your key, with your auto attack, if, if you can help it. Yeah. Because um, this is actually something I'll get in trouble I, like yeah, earlier, I, where you uh, should have used your E to proc it, and, uh, or, you, and you, or you didn't use it or something like that. I don't know. But um, that, is, that is something that will help a lot, is save it for the last hit. Right, it's your burst damage. It's your poke yeah. damage or it's your burst damage. Um, I mean, doesn't your E only do like eighty or like it does no damage compared your to your E like does a shit else. ton of damage. Yo, 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 your what E does you so mean? much damage. What? It's just disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, especially if you have like, I mean, if you have your W up on him, yeah, but I don't think. I mean, he's incredibly think, important. Let's okay, see. I guess with the mana moon it could. Alright, I believe this is a single target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single target abilities, all right. So there's this this part, which is already really strong, and then yeah, here's yeah, the yeah. second part: is against squishy champions. When your E is maxed out, it is 280 plus, like not even counting the um, whatever benefits you have, whatever 80 and AP you have. Yeah, I guess so it does a lot of damage. It does like it is a disgusting amount of damage, especially if you have WE auto attack, right? Um, you can actually kill someone, almost kill someone without landing any Qs. So. Um, yeah, your E is really important when it comes to landing it on champions. All right, maybe less so on like tankier champions, but more so on anyone else. Oh, that's really awkward. Look, do you see this? Look at this. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Everyone lives with one HP on me, so. Do you see this E? I could have like, oh wait, no, I didn't have my W up. It did 211, right? So it's very relevant in oh, terms yeah, of yeah. damage, yeah, especially true. on um, backline champs. So this, this is just, I wouldn't fault you for this. If anything, um you should say something like you know be aware that as you're hitting tower someone's gonna try and kill you but um, yeah, I, know. I think I was, fine. I was aware of her but i honestly thought i'd be able to kill her yeah that's she... that's totally fine i think you're aware um so that's, that's totally fine push this out very good so you see you see the big difference here between what you did right here and what you did in lane right which is after you clear the wave, then you went to clear everything, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's just impossible to punish this unless they're camping or something, right? Yeah. If you can kill the wave first, you always do it, right? That was really good. Oh, this rum doesn't make sense, right? Um, You can't get this guy. Yeah, I can. I mean, oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can. I mean, okay, so let's we can talk about this. All right, so when you see this, I, I'm so fed right now. I'm just kind of like, I no, no, no. Like where, where is this fight happening? Top lane. Okay, so where are all their wards? Top lane. They're all in this quarter of the jungle. All right, that's how we know this doesn't work consistently. Is that they fucking uh, see you, right? So <laughs> that's why no one does this. Is you would rather just push mid here? What if you were gone a wave? Their Maokai is dead. As and I don't really know where their ADC is, I guess. Yeah, but you have no Zed, and you guys are losing this fight, right? So, it's it's more of, he should know you're coming, so it doesn't make sense. I guess they didn't have it warded. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they no, they probably, <laughs> they probably did have it warded, it's just that they don't look at the map, right? Oh, okay. is the Is the usual. Oh, right? yeah, because they're chasing, so they're probably not looking at the map. Right, exactly, so it's, it's really strange, but I mean... Uh... Oh, clean, 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 very nice, very nice. Um, but you saw how Kaisa hit you with that W, right? You definitely, yeah. you definitely should have died there. She just ulties you, and it could be doomed. Wow, that was really, that was a really, that was a really good kill. Okay, nice try on the ulti. You almost montage played, but 
yeah. Still really good. It's really good. See, there's no problem with mechanical ideas. It's really all some of the decisions you make have like 10% success rate, right? On average. <laughs> I'm so a, I'm a high roller. What can I say? <laughs> Time to go to Vegas, right? Um, yeah, like, we can talk I about either, this. I either go 20 0 or 0 20. There's no in between. <laughs> we can talk about this. This is this this is good because this is all, all decision making stuff is easy to learn. Mechanics is hard to learn. Right. So, what do you what do you should what should you do here? And if I say base is the wrong answer, what should you do? Uh, rip Terrell mid. Uh, well, they're gonna they're they're already at mid, right? They're just gonna kill the Rift Terrell. Oh, um, farm top. No farm uh, mid. Farm okay, mid. yes. Farm. Why why not farm top? Why did you say mid because instead of Scion's top? Because going. Right. So I'm you you want to go like mid? Oh my farm, dude. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So like we said, the same thing here. How do you punish your base here? They just push and then you lose a wave, right? So you never want this to happen. Wait, never, well, never, they, never, 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 never. No, no, no. They're spawning. How long was oh. this fight? This okay, fight yeah. was like okay, you, okay. you did rift hell after the fight, so they're all up yeah, now, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So that's the idea. Is you're gonna insta punish. Alright, who's farming mid now? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is why you should have gotten mid. And yeah, he should have yeah, based. Awesome. Alright. Yeah. Your support is supposed to base and you're supposed to fix this mid. Unless you guys really need to base and you give yeah, up the wave there's, mid. There's a reason like my average CS is like six per mi ten minutes or something or per right, minute right. or something. It's actually awful. I always oh, have yeah. terrible CS. Like if I if I don't get really fed in laning phase, I lose the game. This is the easy fix for CS out of laning, right? You know now. We said it like three times now. So anytime you see a wave, you should be triggered. You're like, I got to kill this wave and then I can base, right? Yeah, or okay. I can do something so else. What about doing that with like constant team fights? Because in this ELO, it's just, it feels like it's just constantly fighting and I can't get a break to go farm. Well, we had a perfect example where I mean, it was yeah, a fight top, fights. Okay, yeah, yeah. right? You should push mid, boom, easy, right? Yeah, true. It's, you I, help the fight when it's, when you can actually yeah. do something. Guaranteed to do something, so. Sure. Uh, well, let's <laughs> we can talk about this too. I, oh I, god! I'm just like I'm super strong. I'm gonna one shot this dude, and then he's right. Like, so this is how you throw a game. As, you know when you're strong, right? Is uh, you make a play and it has low success rate again, right? It's not about your mechanics. It's about you do something and it doesn't. It's just not supposed to work. Actually, hold up. You see right. why you lived here? Uh, hex shrinker. Uh, LeBlanc's uh, hit a minion. I think I don't know. You see this? What is this? That is your E going in the opposite direction of me. What the fuck is this? All right. Anyways, um, not only that, but she did a combo wrong too. So, um, and what else? Why? Why else are you living here? <laughs> who else? Who else is right here? Who could be here in that circle? Kaisen. Okay. Yes. So Kaisen she just ulties ulti. you. What else? Yeah. Um, I guess Maokai ulti, but right. I don't think Maokai's ulti would have done much unless he like ran around with Righteous Glory and Moby Boots or something. Dude, he like could that. flash over, dude. Don't, dude, yeah, you exactly. always expect the worst thing, right? So yeah. the only reason why you get away with this is because they're like, they they actually have, they have, this guy missed his abilities and the whole team is not here, right? So, uh, wait, we actually do throw still. Oh, yeah, no. I did too. Yeah. But even after all their misplays, you see how, what I mean by the situation yeah, yeah, yeah. is so bad that you, you <laughs> end up losing no matter what you can do. I mean, you play this mechanically well, right? Like, even, especially on that last kill over on this guy. And then you get out with your E and all that stuff, you're landing all your damage. It doesn't matter. Like, the, the, and for League, the situation matters a lot more nowadays, where yeah. it's all about the setup, right? How do we know you're not supposed to E in here? Because there's no vision, I have no idea where everyone is, and it's literally just him. I'm There's a better reason. There's a better reason. Uh, you can you can yeah, infer can you can know. infer that looking at the map without knowing where they are. Like um, like if you fight bot and you don't know where the jungle is, it's easy to say I don't know where the jungle is. But that's not the correct. That's not the true correct answer. Because well, let's say you don't know where the jungle is, but your jungle is in the bush next to you, right? You guys want to take a three v three because uh, you're going for a counter gank. Yeah. So what? What? I mean, what part of this picture tells us that you're not supposed to fight? Besides the fact that it's three v three v five, because that's so true. That's very true. Um, I mean, besides like Scion and Zed being bought, or maybe right, 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 right. And so they're both like shoving waves and or backing. What's our job here? Uh, probably just to shove this, either regroup, ward up, dragon, maybe. Mm, uh, yeah, I mean the first part is right. I would shove and then we can do something, right? But 
They're under no like, circumstances. Since, since I have like a pretty good lead, I could like shove and like try to harass without getting too close of a range to like. Yes, yes, that's all. Me. That's very good, right? So all, everything you're saying is do as much as you can without committing to this three v five, essentially, right? So when you e in, that's how we know that you missed the point where we were <laughs> we were doing something we weren't supposed to do, right? And it's not it's not that you never do this. If you e in, that's sometimes fine, right? Why is it sometimes fine? What cases okay. is it fine? I mean, if he doesn't ha if he doesn't have anybody, or you see everyone somewhere else, I mean, um, let's say it, his it whole team like... is here, and he's right here. Uh, if he was right there where you marked, he's dead. Right. So this is really obvious, right? That's yeah. this is what this is what you need to break the rule. That's how obvious it has to be. All right. So oh, okay. is this obvious? So he has to actually just straight up be melee. Yes, he has to be inting essentially. Someone has to be inting for you to break these rules. Okay. So is is he? We would say this is not good enough, especially if he has an hourglass, right? So uh, this is not good enough. So um, you guys, you guys end up dying, right? I mean, here's a. I mean, I have a funny example. Let me let me find this super spicy example. Um, it would take me like ten seconds to find it. Let's see. Da, 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 da. And then. But a good thing about this elo though, like if you get fed, they open. Oh, time. yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, like let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. To... So, um, this is the exact same example, right? Hold up. Where this is... How many people are here? Um, well, you don't have Talon. Cossix will take a little bit to get there, especially if you ult it in, and that would be too much of a commitment. You have two people, and the only visible person you see is Belkaz. And since top is shoved, you can assume that their top laner or, or a like single laner would be closer, I guess, into that fight. So, I mean, you're pretty much trying to fight a 3v5, probably. Right. We would say Jax is dead, so 3v4. You're right. Completely right. Okay. right. Yeah. This is 3v, this is 3v4. All right, so if you insta-kill Velkaz, this is fine. This is the exact same example yeah. as you did. Insta-kill Velkaz, this is fine. All right, so what happens? Let's see. Did he inst did he insta die? No, he insta zonius. Yeah, so we fucking lost, right? That's the idea. Yeah. So we lost. We, oh, what happens when you try and keep going? Oh, we are. Oh, we just. <laughs> uh, it's, oh, spoilers! Everyone's dying, right? So I did the exact same thing you did, right? Is Sometimes we weren't insta killing him. Just gotta make montage plays, you know. Right, but there is. I mean, those <laughs> those are zero percent plays, to be honest. So <laughs> yeah. there's no there's no way that works, right? So this is this is the same idea, all right? So I say zero percent. They could have missed everything. Yeah, that's. I mean, they could and also DC it, I guess. All, all of them could have DC'd, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, throw in the DDoS right when you go in. Yeah, uh, yeah that's that's kind of the, the definitely the main idea of, of these games is going to be how do we make sure we can come up with um, good habits I, to do every I game. I to just walk up and end, but she didn't. So yeah, I just kind of killed the wave in base. Uh, I just had the guy base. Yeah, I did. It's actually we could have we could have rift herald here, I think, All right? But I think it's fine. I kind of want to save rift herald for mid inhib because, like, I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like the mid inhib is pretty valuable. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think it's fine. Um, oh, and then it's just running out. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna try and join this fight. Oh, you, you, you you're gonna you're gonna tell me your e damage you, isn't you, relevant you, after seeing yeah. that? Yeah. Look at this. You see that? You see that? Come on, your E damage is disgusting, right? So that's definitely an Ezreal thing you can take away is uh, always try and land your E damage somehow. Um, okay, very nice, very nice. Well played. I really like how you held on to your E until the last second so that uh, you tricked them into thinking you were going to get hit by that. That's always a very good trick. And they all die, very good. So basically, all you need to work on is... Oh shit, you got a pentakill, champ. Let's watch this. All you need to work on yeah, she is decision-making. Yeah, I guess he just died. That just seems good, huh? Wait, they're all they're all doing the same thing now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh! Nice! You're gonna kill this guy too, you just eat on top of him. Very nice. Oh, Monka S, still fine. Oh, you troll! That was the wrong way! Alright, nice try, I guess. Nice try, nice try. Fast forward, fast forward. How long is this game? What the hell? It's too long. For me being this fat, it's too long. Uh, I think it ends It ends soon after, like, the next kill or so. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure it, it could end right here. 
So I think I think um, the easy Band-Aid fixes for you right now. You're just going to game and the easy fixes are just don't eat. Oh Ian. no, I forgot right. to move my mouse. Ruined. Oh, <laughs> the, oh yeah, no, the I, monitor I fixed went it. to sleep. I, I, yeah, I fixed it faster somehow. It's okay. You didn't. You didn't. We didn't miss anything. So we're okay. Um, the number one easy fix is you look at the map before you eat. In, all right. Look at the map before yeah. you fight, and that tells you what you should be doing at all times. Well, this maw is really getting some value here. Jesus. Yeah, they're all AP. <laughs> that's kind of like that's kind of the reason I started monkey inting because I knew they couldn't kill me. With how weak their LeBlanc was and how OP Maw of Amortius is against their comp. Oh no. I'm not really sure why we didn't end right there, like prior, but I don't know. I know we, I think we end after this fight. Uh oh. Monkey ass, get that lantern. Oh, dead. Oh, maybe we can eat out. Yeah, I'm fine. Nice. Okay. Maw of Amortius way too strong sure. against them. Very good. Oh, that E though, very nice. Oh, that Kaisa Bamboozle, holy shit. Oh! Wow, I can't believe uh, you survived Ignite. Okay, and they all die here, right? Okay, good. Yeah, okay, good. Ends. This is the next game. Okay, right. okay, okay. So it started, it, this started off basically like, I was like, oh crap, I should be recording. But basically all that happened was that Jin got really, really low. I flashed and like, got the three autos off or pressed the attack and he lived with one HP and I died. Hmm, okay. He didn't, okay. he didn't heal or anything, like he just straight up lived with one HP, so. Rip. So, definitely the things we want to be looking out for are all decision making related, alright? So, yeah. anytime we see anytime we see a decision to be made, we're going to pause and figure out, was that the right idea? And how do you know, like, immediately? Like, what's the, how can you create a mental shortcut to know exactly what to do right before it happens, is the idea. Yeah. All right, and the first the easiest one right now for you is you look at the map before you decide to fight, and that'll tell you the fastest, the the the, the fastest like way to get information is just look at the map. And if you have less yeah. people, you don't fight. Right? That's the that's that's the idea. Wow, that was clean. But uh, let's talk about this. Could this go wrong? Yeah, their jungler could have been there. Or Where? I mean, like uh uh in the other bush. This the one other bush. down here. It could have been. I would or say unless, it's, it's unless a maybe. he like showed up like in that bush where Jin was running to or so. Yeah, I I, mean, I, I, would, I don't really know. Let's say let's say he's in that bush down there, right? I don't I don't remember who their jungler is. So. It's Gragas. It's Gragas. So okay. Uh, let's say he's down there, right? And if he goes on you, can you get away? Uh no, because I queued the and I I e Jin and then I queued into him, so I kind of lost everything. Besides, I'd have to flash, and even then, if they had any flashes falling up, I'd probably still get caught. Right, I would say Unless my support like pulled off something crazy. Well, I would say that the since you have flash, we're okay. Right, that's kind of like an indicator that tells you you can get away from the gank. Usually speaking. Yeah, I just don't want to be wasting flash for no reason. Like, I mean, if, well, uh, I, I can't. I don't know if I knew where Gragas was or not. Like, I don't know if I can't remember where he was on the map, like in the certain game, but like, well, like. I could have, because uh, I know now, I like before we started coaching, I know now I always look at the map prior to like anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Oh my, and that was a clean kill. Uh, oh wait, you did have the bush wooded. Uh, I oh, guess so. then you guys are good. You guys are totally fine, right? Um, yeah. We just, we just want to talk about these things so that we know what the right move every time. Yeah. Right. So since Vayne's really, really bad at pushing, like usually, like my thought process was to just let this push into me, and then. But right. Like, I would agree. I don't really know. Right. You just I mean, base I, now. I guess I could have base now. Yeah. I don't know right. if I did base now. Yeah, I don't think I did. It's the exact same example as the last game. Is you yeah. can base now, let it push into you, or you can slow push it back towards them. Yeah, I, I don't think I, don't, I, I mean. I wouldn't really want to slow push it back towards them, would I? Because they have a lot more health than I do. Wait, this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem, though. If you don't base, if you don't find yeah, a way yeah, to base. Yeah, I, I didn't base. Yeah, that was a problem. But what I meant for like, and say like I were to try to push that into them, wouldn't it just get stuck between the like the tower and a set of minions that he would get to his lane? But I mean, I know this little that uh, yeah, I probably should have based right there. Wait, say again. 
So like, if I push, if I slow push it into his tower right now, he'll, he's just gonna like get this. to the lane prior, like before the. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be able to catch it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't well, really want to do that. Our whole point is that we need to we need to not lose minions and base. We don't care if he yeah. catches it, because you oh, can't okay. stop him from not catching it unless you just base now and let it freeze. All right. So yeah. this is this is fine, but you just need to figure out how to base is the idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we always, you know, the, ideally we get into tower, but uh, it's also ideal if you can set up a, 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 free, a, a freeze like this where it pushes into you and you're not losing any minions. The whole idea is you get the base and you don't lose minions. That's all. Yeah. That's all you care about, right? If you lose his minions, that's just icing on the cake. But um, those are kind of, those. It's, it's all about lane control, right? So if you have no HP, then you, you're going to end up losing minions in the long run anyways because you can't fight yeah. it. So that, that's like the big idea when it comes to deciding um, wave management in terms of basing, right? How do I manipulate the wave to let me base? So if you play Vayne a lot, you know that you got to base immediately or you got to slow push and run and base because yeah. there's nothing you can do. You can't. This this champion can't push, right? Yeah. So this is, I mean, it's, it's it's really hard for you to land now. You just you have no no way to get some HP back, and you're gonna end up losing a wave no matter what you do. So you just gotta you just gotta base. Play their jungler. <laughs> All right, you should just base. At this point, yep. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah. Now Rakan has the base. I I, I, I eventually Christ. sucked up my ego and was like, you know what? I can't outplay them. <laughs> I have to base. All right, all right. You can't do anything about that. Um, okay, there's a problem here, and we're gonna talk about it. I'm by myself. I have no vision of anyone. Let's go face check a tri bush. Exactly. So, um, that's the idea. Is stuff like this. All right. Don't put yourself in a spot where you literally can't low, win. Low success rate, yeah. All right, literally cannot win, right? So when we see something like this, when you go up here, who's in this bush? Everyone. They're both in the <laughs> Everyone bush, Everyone right? but Malphite. Right, okay, so that's what, that's what you need to do is take this assumption, right? What do you do? If you want this ward, what do you need behind you? Who do you need with you if you want this? Probably a Rakan. <laughs> right, so you should just wait, right? You just wait on top of your pink ward. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, there's a fight going on. Is this doable? Maybe. Where's your Jax? Oh, you have two top. All right. I see. So, <laughs> what's wrong with this picture? Uh, well, you're about to watch me end. But, right. Uh, Why? How do we know this is losing? Uh, three v four. Okay, that's it. So this is this is all you need to this is all you need to do. Okay, so like. I like okay, so Malphite is actually like I hate that champion so much because his E is actually oh, and we all stacked. That was hilarious. Yeah, I mean honestly, it literally didn't matter how you guys played this. You guys are hundred percent losing this. Oh, I right? got a kill. Woo. So yeah, it's just it's just doomed, right? This is all you need to do. I t this is why we say this is the band aid fix is because this will solve half your problems. Oh, yeah, you look at the I've, map before I've you noticed, fight. I've noticed in the games that I, like I I don't fight or like I focus on farming and like playing safe. I win more. Yeah, this that's it makes sense because when you try and do something and it's not supposed to work, it'll it'll fail, right? Yeah. It always lose. So this is easy fix, right? It's it's not it's not hard to fix. It's just my problem is, is I, I like sometimes I can't tell the difference between like uh something that there's like potential outplay and then there's no outplay potential. Okay, so the way you know is you're I in mean, range I, to like, like I understand, like uh, looking out for like certain things. So like Malphite ulti, usually in like my my brain probably wasn't working well this game, and I think that's the reason why I kind of also showed it, is because uh, I just did really bad in general, and like usually I stay away from the team fight until I see Malphite either uses ulti or like he's somewhere else. So so the idea is kind of um, you're looking for um, like how do you save this fight if it's le if you have less people, right? Yeah. So the biggest indicator is, did anyone on your team get insane value? No, they got insane value. <laughs> All right. So insane value is like five man, four man Rakan ulti or yeah, yeah, not yeah. turn one shot, right? Here, there's, yeah. there's literally nothing. Well, I mean, yeah. you can go for a four man Rakan ulti, but not turn having no ulti is so bad that you guys are, you guys are losing this, right? So yeah, um, that's the idea. Like, like their full tank Malphite mid lane can't get one shot. It's so. 
Right. So, so how, what do you do here? You don't commit until you see it. So when we see yeah. that it's not good enough, you just should have backpinged this team fight. So this is kind of the, this is kind of the main area you want to work on. It's good. Right. So the habit you want to work on is, um, let's say, let's say something's going on, right? Something's going on. What you don't forward ping immediately. You look at the map and then you say, and then you forward ping or back ping based on okay. what, on the information you know. And how do you know that? How would I know that this is a back ping here? Uh, because, well, Noctune doesn't have ulti. Zed's half, uh, Zed's top with Jax, so there's like 3v4 as that's well it. as yeah. Malphite probably has ulti. Yeah, or, that's it. I mean, right, so all you have to do is just think I about mean, it before you go. Main early game, it's doomed. All right, I, I mean, all you gotta think about it, all you gotta do is just think about it before you do it, all right? And then yeah. it'll solve literally half these, half these examples, and you're good to go. Um, you the 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 habit you want to work on is uh two one of two things you can do both all right so the first is before the fight breaks out look at the map and say if a fight breaks out right now do we want this so that if a fight breaks out you already know what to do right you see two top and you say if a fight breaks out let's go in the river that would be like your um you're predicting that if this happens we're gonna go do this right if your jungles contest and you saw their support go top we're gonna run and help immediately because we know it's 4v3 Right. And then the other one is if you didn't think about it beforehand, you say, oh, uh, at, right as something is happening, you look at the map before you join. Yeah. Right. I use both of these. I use both of these. So um, that way you can cover pretty much all, every case possible where a fight breaks out. Like this right here. Why is this bad? I already knew it was bad before I saw it, but. Uh, the waves like right there at my tower. Right. And what else? Um. Nocturne, I mean, not, like, Nocturne doesn't really have anybody over there with him, and he just kind of like, or yeah, I guess that it's also not there. I mean, oh, mid priority as well. Right, right. All these very much. You have every reason to believe this is bad, and no reason to believe this is good. That's how you know it's doomed, I, right? Yeah, I probably should. I've never thought about looking if my teammate had ulti or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some some <laughs> champions are ulti based, right? So Jax yeah. ulti doesn't matter. But yeah. Zed ulti or Khan ulti and Nocturne ulti. If you guys try and fight <laughs> mid game without that, you got. I mean, I don't know what you guys are doing, right? Um. So yeah. that's that's definitely that's definitely an idea for sure. So you know that fight is doomed. This is fucking. I don't know what he's doing, but he's is a hundred percent losing, right? So you shouldn't join this unless you can help this. You can't help this. So I don't know why you're still here. Um, oh, yeah. me, only, helping only... it, me helping it right there where honestly just even if I can get out it would honestly just bait my team into anything yeah exactly it's just making things worse essentially right yeah. there's no way this can go well like literally zero percent that's the idea is you want to you want to look at this idea how do we make yeah. fights in our favor and how do we avoid stuff that's doomed all right oh we can talk about this too so it's actually also hitting. this is also a trap, right? You don't want to hit tower. Never, yeah. Why? Like literally never, unless they're dead. Like, that's what I want you to think. Okay. Don't hit tower unless they can't stop you. This is also another situation where um, you always lose if you put yourself in this, right? Why? Why is this? Oh, there's a TP behind you. There's two TPs behind you. Maybe they could be, they could be coming through tri bush. There's like ten different ways you're gonna die here, right? So yeah. that's 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 the main idea is hitting tower is losing. It's like. Think about it this way. It's like starting dragon with no words on it. Yeah. Right? And they, they just come and kill everyone, right? So this is the this is the average result is that everyone's dying. I mean, you guys might win this just randomly, but know that, you know, the rule is this is really bad. All right? Yeah. But the, whole hit core, the whole core idea of it's really bad. Yes, exactly. I mean, <laughs> look what's going on now, right? I mean, yeah. can you guys get away from this champion? I mean, probably uh, not. I, I'm I'm impressed you guys aren't dead yet, but you guys are definitely getting one shot here. I mean, you play against her earlier, right? Okay, if yeah. this guy wasn't so bad, you were all dead for sure. Oh yeah, easily. I don't know what's going on here, but um, he he kind of <laughs> like he, kinda like he fucked it all. Um, yeah, he fucked it all up. So um, he, he definitely just, all he had to do was patiently wait for like people to show up or whatever. I don't he know. He just press on the closest guy. I don't know what he was doing, but um, if you want to do something like push the tower. And you're trying to bait them into engaging. You need flash, all right? Okay. That's what I want you to think. So it's all decision making ideas, right? So easy band aid fixes. All right. Don't hit tower. 
push your wave before you do anything, right? Whatever lane you're in. And when a fight breaks out, look at the map first before you join it, right? Three easy rules, all decision making related, right? Do you think you can remember those in game? Uh, yeah. All right, so I've, I, I've been kind of like working on them after watching like all your other coaching videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, so I've been like trying pretty hard to. That's good. You know, do that. As long as you keep, can keep it in your head, you're good to go. Oh, that was awkward. Oh, I, thought he would keep, I thought he would keep rolling into me because he thought it was like, oh, it was a 2v1. Oh, no. Like, oh, no. So I was trying to eat him oh, into the wall no. right there, but it was just like, rip. Yeah, you, you, I mean, you just lose this because it's 2v1, right? So, yeah. Um, uh, unfortunately, may maybe like last year this could work because Jin needs the fourth shot to kill you last year. This, this year, he just hits you and you die. So... If it's if it's one v two, that is. Um, so yeah, you definitely don't you definitely don't want to go for this. Uh, but you see you see how it's all kind of the same problem, right? Yeah. Where I, you try and go for stuff that has great. zero percent chance of working. Terrible. Yeah. Oh okay, maybe this will work. This guy's alone. What is no. what is no. Malphite? No, no this oh, doesn't no. work. This doesn't Does he work have ulti? No, I, I, I can't re I can't remember. But oh, no, he, just he just walks away. away. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right, no, sure. And even even though like he uh, even if he didn't have ulti, pretty sure he probably could have still one v one me with his um, E like attack like ninety percent attack speed slow. That's yeah, awful. maybe. Oh my lord! You guys can kill this guy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, Rakan missed. It doesn't matter. Very nice. What was Aurelia doing that we talked about? Uh, hitting tower without looking at the map. Right. <laughs> this is all the same thing, right? So yeah. all I have to do is I just want you to pay attention to this stuff and make sure that um, the more you pay attention to it, the more you'll be able to recognize it right before it happens. All right. Yeah. So just keep it in your head as you're playing the whole time, literally any stage of the game. Okay, maybe not laning, but um, laning you just worry about ganks. But um, any also, other like, time, like uh, CSing like in mid game is like pretty rough because I like I saw you do a video over it and uh it was like you just shove it past the middle or whatever when the tower right. is gone and it'll just auto go on you or right. something or i mean it'll auto still push back to you unless they fix it right and uh i just haven't been able to get that uh to work i think it's I just because you're you're always dead in the mid game that's why <laughs> so uh, that, i would not worry about that yet right you just need to work on this because this stuff prevents you from being able to work on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, like what this. About, what about like CSing in a from lane? A, yeah, in a lane. It's totally fine. You, in a lane that's losing. Like that's fine. Like, you 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 lose. You're gonna lose. So <laughs> you just get as much yeah. as you can. Don't worry about it. Um. Uh, it's, so so it's worth the miss, like uh, three minions over like getting traded or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, exactly. So I saw I saw some, some something that was like uh like two and a half minions or whatever is worth like a health pot so if like if you're going to take a health pot worth of damage it's not worth to go for those minions it's more like it's less about the value of a health pot and whatever and more about if you get hit you're not going to be able to get minions anyways so yeah it just doesn't make sense right um this is this is definitely it's all it's it's really funny because it's really clear that all you have to do is work on this one idea yeah. right and you know this is this is the same thing here is because a lot of times you instigate this right yeah. <laughs> like I'm why like, hey, everyone, let's go <laughs> <feed."> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> why is this not a good idea here? why is pinging to go to dragon not a good idea here uh well we are I, well i don't know actually uh well we have all ulties Jax is dead so it's probably 45 that's, That's it, all right? This is what I, this is all I care. This is all I want you to care about. Don't even worry about the ultis for now, all right? Ultis are really for three v threes or even fights or something like that, all right? This is you just need to care about four v fives right now, all right? All you have to do is say, "Where's my team?" And then anyone missing on their team is here, like or at yeah. the fight you want to be at. All right? That's it. That's all you need to worry about. So I would say, oh, four v five, don't do this, all right? Okay. So what I happens why, is why, I think the reason why my decision making is habit least like uh, so bad is because like. Uh, none of my friends have like i've had i out of like my whole friend group i have only had one friend who actually got into gold by himself and uh and what i mean by, your, by yourself is like boosted or whatever mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh 
So, like, <laughs> since I always play with them, I'm always playing against people that, like, are so bad that decision-making in this game that you can win solely based off mechanics. Right, right. <laughs> you, can, you, you can win just because you're better at them mechanically at the game. Right, and, yeah, it's just... And so, it's like, just... my habits of, like, thinking and, like... And instead of, like, me thinking, I just, like, run around and smash people. Right, right, right. That's why sometimes it can be a bad, a bad habit to, like, ignore this stuff, even if you're playing, like, normals or something. Yeah. So... Um, yeah. I understand that. It makes sense. I mean, your mechanics are really good, but the decision-making is equally not as good. <laughs> so, it's good, though, because um, having one clear weakness is a lot better than having to work on everything, I think. Oh, I was really sad. No, because I, like, I wanted to kill Janet, but... He just pressed E. Yeah, he, he hit like a max range Malphite, and I was so sad. I was like, really? She was bad, man. This is actually a different. Actually, no, yeah, it's not a different I, idea. I this like, is the same yeah, idea. This is the same idea. This is, this is the trying, same idea. This is me trying to do something I can't do. <laughs> oh my god. I, I mean, I was going to say it's a different idea because if Rakan was alive, you would wait for him to turn before you go. Um, but it's the same idea. It's just for me. My time, problem so. is that I was just super desperate to try to make something pull off because we're all AD against a Malphite, and like I just and I don't really know how to win when we can't win team fights very easily. Right. So you kind of identify your win condition, and here it's really easy to tell what your win condition is here. Right. What is it? You have two uh, of them actually. Wait. Okay. Say that again. It kind of lagged. It's it's easy. I mean, if you if you want to talk about like team comp stuff and like how to win, um, why is this Malphite versus all AD not a problem? Um, cause, uh, could we split push to win? Okay, yes, you can split push to win. That was that's one win um, condition. What's the other one? If if we like, um, huh? Uh, they lack damage. Super. Uh, no, no, no. That's never really. I mean, they, unless they like five supports. Dude, I mean, does this champion lack damage? This champion's gonna one shot everyone on your team, no matter what stage the game is at. <laughs> well, I mean, seeing what she's done throughout the game, I don't think that'll be an issue. Uh, but. I think it's it's related to the champion you're playing. Yeah, I mean, like, I kind of picked her just because of Malphite. So, like, I guess team fights wouldn't have been an issue as long as I waited till Malphite initiated and then just kind of, like, that's pretty much it. Like, I mean, not only that, but also, uh, oh, look look at me pinging this doomed Baron fight. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's... You have no HP, so this is bad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah, bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Everyone's gonna die here. Our Jin presses are, and everyone dies essentially. So, uh, but I was gonna. I'm trying to get to the point where um, the other win condition is is you, right? Yeah. Because you're playing Vayne, right? Vayne is not. We, Vayne doesn't do. We don't care about her physical damage. We care about her true damage, right? Yeah. I mean, look at the item you're building. You max W, and you got you're getting Rage Blade, right? So yeah. there's nothing. There's no need to worry. In, in these kind of games so, yeah, as long as you can figure out how your team wins and and kind of play accordingly but um the only reason why you're losing this game is because you guys just took like five four v5s in a row so and one bad baron call um yeah now it's kind of hard right yeah also is farming jungle camps as an adc worth it or no i mean if you have nothing else to do like if you already pushed out your lanes and your okay, jungle is so invading like, or so something like if if every lane is uh pushed out that's when you can like farm or like in a, in right, a right 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 do the jungle camps that's last priority unless you're so oh, okay. far behind you have nothing else to do right yeah um like, you guys I mean, just I, need to give up I'm, this if thing. i'm if i'm so far behind at that point like i can't even walk out of my base without getting one-shotted by someone right, like right, if, right, right. If, if scrub noobs on their team i'm basically just game's over right all right <laughs> if i think like, um uh, zero i think there's nothing to worry there's just don't worry about anything besides decision making i think all right when you go into games that's all you want to practice because uh, that's all you need to do. We, I mean, we can talk about this too. This we haven't seen this at all, but uh, we can totally talk about this. What's going on here? I I don't know. I'm just trying to wait till Malphite ulties before I go in. All right. So let's say let's I'm say to, I'm trying to not be seen or like, let's say uh, Malphite ulties this way. What are you gonna do? You're gonna walk this way? Yeah, I'm just gonna walk right into all of them and feed, dude. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta you just want your default is always sit back here unless okay. you have a plan going on here, right? What do we mean by plan is like. Um, you can one shot deal? someone. Yeah. I don't know, right? You got to yeah. come up with, with something that, specific. With my build, it's not one shotting. So. Yes, Exa exactly. You want to be here so you can kill one shot him. anymore. Ever right. Since it revert. Right, so. right. Unless you have Rage Blade stacked up somehow, um, yeah. that's not happening. So they need uh, to just add a, a a jungle monster right in the middle of that wall right there. Just so, <laughs> so you can, can just hit it. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> 
but yeah, that's that's basically um, all you have to work on. Really, I think it's I think it's good. It's good. All the only thing you need to work on is though these decision making ideas and stick to the three rules we mentioned. Right. The really the big one is just look at the fight before you call something or try and fight. All right. And look at the map. I mean, before you try and do anything. And that's like the biggest one. And the other ones are like, uh, don't hit tower. And uh, there's a third one. What was the third one? There's a third one somewhere. I don't quite remember. Um, but I mean, besides looking at your map, uh, and like, as like, oh yeah, Lewis success rate things or whatever. Well, look, look. Let's say looking at your map counts for two, right? Yeah. <laughs> look at your map before you try and fight. Always, 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 always. Even if, even if someone makes the call to go in, that's especially when I check the map to make sure he made a good call, right? It's not, yeah, no one, no one should follow a call. I'm just like, sometimes I'm just blindly following calls. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, and that's and how... Feel, and, and like, based on the, what has happened through the, that Vayne game, I can tell you everyone else also blindly follows calls. Yes, exactly. Like you ping the dragon, it was doomed, <laughs> everyone went. Goes, yeah. Baron, everyone's doomed, everyone Right. Went. Exactly, exactly. Fantastic. So it's good because um, decision making is something you can work on every single game. I think it's I think it's easy to find examples. Maybe it might be hard to work on it at first because you're in the middle of playing. But I would say even go as far as to sacrifice gameplay to work on decision making. Like literally sit here until you know what to do and then do it. And that's that's what I'm doing right now. Is I literally AFK in this bush until I know what I'm about to do. So Any uh, any questions or anything you want to go over besides what we talked about? Um. Okay, so like, uh, in team fights, you're like always hitting the closest person. Yes, unless you have a better plan and unless it doesn't you involve can, like, you getting shot. killed. Yeah, as long as if you can like one shot someone and like you don't die for it or whatever. Right, right, right. Uh, like, what do you like? How do you come back from a game that's like? not winnable pretty much <laughs> like uh, i mean like so i haven't been around in this silo uh, i've just got back around this mmr like this last week and i haven't been around it in a very long time like i mean i'd say about half a year or so and uh there are a lot of people who like when you go to their opdg they like are one in ten is their best score they've had in the last like Jesus seven Christ. games so like they're obviously boosted they have like a 20 percent win rate or whatever oh no and like that that actually happens i'd say every that happens about one third of the games one team will have or like yeah i'd say about one third of the games that's fair then one team will have some dude who has like a 20 percent win rate and actually just dies like 30 times before the game even starts Right, so in those games, your goal isn't really to win. It's how do you, are you working on the things you wanted to work on, right? Uh, Even in those games, did you do your decision making correctly, right? Yeah, that, or if you're working on mechanics. Mean, like I, I, uh, I have a 17 and 2 Kaiser game in my OPGG that uh -huh. like, I worked on solely, uh, like, solely uh, based on decision making. Yeah. Uh, and we, we lost like all three of our inhibs at like 20 minutes, so it was kind of like a Doom game. And uh, he's not the actual one. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually played against this guy the other day. Uh, so I was like, oh, interesting. This guy's a uh, fanboy like, or something. Yeah, I... Uh, so it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, that was the Nasus. Yeah, yeah, look at the Nasus. That, 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 that guy is, like, what I consider someone boosted. Uh, like, at least from that Nasus game. Yeah, what look at that. Fun? What is going yeah. on here? <laughs> that that dude had a 2.7 cs per minute <laughs> average what's going actually, on here yeah no so way that this can't be real that, that was an unfortunate game for, how did he uh, win like, this game wait he's actually like feeding every game yeah like no yeah pe boosted people actually do exist it's not just like a joke that people no, say no, that i've, I've seen that. it I've, <laughs> I've seen it um a few times occasionally it happens in my games but uh it's, it's probably yeah it sounds... I, i'd say it's most prominent around like gold five and diamond five i'm not surprised and, and then uh, uh like higher diamond it probably falls off right, now it right. probably it might happen and like i've never seen someone boosted to like master or challenger even though it oh yeah we don't worry it's it has happened, yeah I've, i haven't seen it very often it's happening. It's happening. it's really obvious in the first like five minutes uh, like because <laughs> we would have won that game really hard but our nasus 
had two and a half items at 41 minutes. It, it, like, yeah. That was, we didn't have a tank, and that was my biggest problem that game. So I just, like, I didn't even get tilted after the game. I was just like, you know, I tried my best, and I literally showed that I'm better than them, so... Exactly. That's that's the whole idea. Don't worry about winning. It's all about are you improving as a player? Because yeah. if you're winning, like I remember back in the day when I was trying to get as many points as possible in Challenger, I was like, "Hey, I'm winning." And that's like really nice, but it was just like a lucky streak, right? So, yeah. even even though I didn't even though I was winning, I wasn't really, you know, improving. improving. And so, yeah. when I got to the point where it was more even games, I was like, "Oh shit, I can't like I can't, I'm not winning anymore." <laughs> you know, it doesn't it doesn't help you in the long run. So yeah, yeah. This... A lot of my uh, off time from league is like either watching videos of like uh, how people got past like the hard stuck or like or like mental state videos or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Men being and, like, mentally strong like, is important. Yeah, and like because like when you get an assist, like I was honestly like after that game, I was honestly like well, I can't believe how great my mental state is still because that assist was actually awful. Yeah. Well. At least you're not him. That's that's what I always say. I'm happy I'm not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... So, yeah. Like, I kind of like... The, the description of that video is, like... What was saying my decision-making sucks. So I kind of, like, know my decision-making is, like... Complete. Like, it's awful. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, uh... Oh, by the way, Aftershock on Annie is, like, a great thing. And I love it so much. It's spicy. It's like Lissandra. Uh, I... I got a. I saw this uh, person do it, and I was like, "Hey, I really want to do that because I got auto filled, and I this is the only mid laner I have on this account." So, I mean, besides like, actually, no, I think this might be the only mid laner I own on this account. It seems like I uh, I worked out. Yeah, so I just kind of like, cause like with that, you can you just flash and like you can initiate and not die, and like Jesus. they can't kill you because you have aftershock, and you're like, ah. Oh. Yeah, too bad my natural damage is crazy. But when I my first time climbing the diamond was uh, Annie. Every time I got auto filled, Annie. It was Annie. No matter like I nice. was, so, I was nice. just like I was not risking the LP. That like, is the strat. Like... But uh, yeah. All right. Well, if uh, do you have any other questions before we we wrap it up? Because I think there's another guy after you. Uh. No, I think that's answers a pretty good amount. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I will upload this to YouTube, send you the link. And uh, if you do have questions, uh, feel free to message me on Discord. Or if you want to show me any clips, right, of uh, decision-making yeah. stuff, definitely send them my way as well. Um, but besides that, let me know how the progress is going. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, like, do you want to do this, like, a weekly thing? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know you so, are. Like, next Tuesday or next Wednesday or something. Yes, yes, that sounds good to like, me. Because I kind of like, like I'm doing this a lot. Like I'm trying, to, I'm I'm really trying to get like crazy good at this game, like decision making wise. So I mean, I think you're, <laughs> I think you're already halfway there. It's just fixing the decision making, right? So yeah. it's good stuff. Yeah. Um. And, let me know what and they stop playing Vayne. <laughs> Every time I see that thirty three percent win rate, I'm just like, dude, you gotta stop playing Vayne. Feels actually... bad. Your decision making is awful because like I've main vein when she was like one shotting everyone, so like I keep thinking I can do the plays that I used to be able to do, and it's just like it feels bad. It is. It feels bad. All right. Well, All hit right, me up with the man. time in a day, and uh, right. I will see you then. Okay. Thanks, dude. No problem. No right, problem. Good luck. Good luck.